Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Jumping into brows, I'm using the Brow Sculpting Pencil by Hourglass in Dark Brunette. And I'm just going to start in the front, doing short strokes, going towards the back of the tail, and just, you know, combing through them and brushing through them with the spoolie. I have been basically doing the same brow routine for a really long time. I either use something like this or I use the Brow Definer by Anastasia. Sometimes I get into the dip brow, but I really haven't in a while. I usually do that for winter though. You know what I'm saying? Like a winter brow compared to like a summer brow. Different. I don't know. Maybe not for some people. Going to coat them with the clear brow gel from Anastasia. And then we're going to start our base for our eye with the P. Louise. It's the original base. I'm not even sure what color it is because it's like before all the other colors came out. So I'm putting this on with an E62. I'm going to define my brows with it because I like this shade um, to conceal my brows with. I feel like it's, you know, pretty much what I would use as a concealer anyway. So I just basically put a nice glob of that on there and just basically make it opaque enough so where the eyeshadow really blends well. So I filmed this back in August before, you know, the whole like recall happened. So this is the Boss Bling palette by Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. You guys, I'm sure have heard of what's going on with that kind of stuff. So I use this palette. I'm using an E40 and Hush Hush to go into the crease. And I use this palette and honestly, I didn't really have a problem. So I don't know. I mean, I could see a little bit where you kind of have to blend a little bit more. But I am a blender-holic, I guess you would say, so I really don't mind blending everything out because I'm super, super perfectionist in that way, so I feel like blend all you can to get that perfection that you're, you know, searching for. I'm using as 217 and Sparks, and we're going to put this in the crease area going towards the inner and outer corner, basically kind of doing a halo. And then we're going to bring it out on the outer V going towards the tail of the brow because we kind of want it to really smoke out. Um, I was really winging it on this one, but the colors that the palette ha like has is just so beautiful and they all go together perfectly, so I really wasn't too worried. You guys know sometimes I just sit down and like put colors together and it just goes. Um, but this was super easy and I really wasn't worried. Going in with Rockstar with the same brush putting this all over the lid and bringing it up towards the crease and just doing the same kind of motions, bringing it towards the outer V, very light-handedly, making sure that I blend it as well as I can. You can see it's a little patchy here, but really I just blended it out a little bit more and it was fine. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got a really good batch. I'm not sure. So I haven't tested out the um, new ones yet. I did get them in the mail. I haven't tested them out yet, but I will let you know how, what I think of them. I'm sure I will do a tutorial with each palette of course so I'm taking berry treasure and I'm putting that on the lid blending it out again with the 217 I'm using a coastal sense old brush that I've had for years but that's still really really good and I noticed too like a lot of shadows like this that's a matte with a little sparkle in it it goes on a lot better with your finger so that is what I started doing at the end I just kind of started putting it on my finger you can see the sparkle show up more it's a little bit more pigment it's a little bit easier to blend out so, that's what I started doing. I'm using the Jaunta Blue Liquid Liner. I got this in a PR package a while ago, and it's a really great liner. I think this was like the first time really, really trying it out. I love how super, super black it is. I love Kat Von D's liner, but sometimes it can dry out super fast, and the black is not as black, and it kind of just dries out on the lid, and you have to like just keep going over and over and over again with it um, but this was super super easy and I really liked it of course using Tarte Tardis mascara on these lashes but I've been loving the benefit bad what is it bang bad gal bang lash mascara it's amazing if you haven't tried it yet I really recommend it using Gigi Bell lashes in Gianna we're doing a natural look on a dramatic eye you know what I'm saying I didn't want to do too much of a lash I kind of wanted to just have fullness and this is the perfect lash for that. You can get 20% off right now with code SUBBY in all caps. You could see that below. And we're going to start the face. I'm using the Complexion Perfection Primer by Huda Beauty. And I'm putting that all over. I love the way this moisturizes the skin. So nice. 
For foundation, I'm using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter and the Champagne Pop uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. So we're going to put that all over the face. I'm using a 3D HD Kabuki brush by Sigma. This is my favorite brush to use on my face for foundation. And yeah, I'm just putting that all over. Now I'm taking the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealers in 3C and 2W. I'm taking 3C first and putting that on as our coverage concealer using, you know, really pretty strokes. I love this concealer though. I literally love how lightweight it feels, but it gives you great coverage. It's super hydrating. Really, really love this concealer right now. I'm blending that out with a quickie blending sponge. And I do this first, uh, this first base so I have good coverage. It brightens up. I'm not going to say that it doesn't, but I always like a little extra something. So I'm just going to continue to blend that out. And I just want to say I'm sorry for being absent. I know that I'm like, oh, new videos are going to come. I like literally swear in my life, new videos are coming for you guys. I promise, promise, promise. There's so many products that I haven't tried out yet that I need to try out, do first impressions, do everything like that, and just fun looks for you guys again. You know, I just had a lot of work this summer and it just took over my life. So anyways, I'm going to set with the, the Locket Setting Powder by Kat Von D. And before that, you did see me use the 2C concealer just to brighten those little areas up. Now using the KKW Beauty Contour Stick, I believe it's Contour 1, it said. And I'm just going to contour my face. This actually really, really worked in bronzing my face as well. So I was really down with that. And I also purchased this. So there's a lot more product in it and all that jazz. So I really do like this stick a lot better than the originals that were came out. I'm using a, Lux a Luxie 522 brush to blend this out. And yeah, I'm just blunt. And look at how beautiful the color is, though. I just really, really love the color and the warmth that it gives to the face without being too orange or anything like that. It really, really blended with my tan, like on my arms, super, super well. For blush, I'm using the Tarte Fairy Flush blush from their Fairy Collection. And I'm using a F10 from Sigma for this. And then I'm going back into the palette with Bling Bling and Glitz and Glam. And we're going to put that in the inner corner. I'm using a tiny little Marc Jacobs brush for this. I'm putting it on my brows as well. And then I'm going to use Sparks and Rockstar and a pencil brush from Sigma. And we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm actually happy that I waited to upload this because this is just so much more of a fall than summer look. But yeah, I'm just going to put some mascara on those lash lashes. And I think that might be another reason why I didn't upload as much in the summer. Maybe just because I didn't really wear a lot of makeup. I'm gonna use the Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca in Rose Quartz. Putting that on with a Morphe M501 brush. But yeah, I, I actually want to give you guys more of a variety of looks. So let me know below what you guys think of that. I'm using Lip Contour by Huda Beauty in Muse. And Topaz and Glitz Gloss by Becca thought this was a fun combo. Sometimes I just literally go put my hand in a drawer and see what pops out and sometimes it works out and this time it really did. I just liked the shimmer, the way it went with the whole eye thing going on. Put on some Max Fix Plus and that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. I'm so happy to actually be uploading again. I know that I've been like a little MIA and I'm so sorry for that. But let me know what you guys want to see below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.